Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to provision storage in AWS using Veritas Alta Recovery Vault Storage as a service. Alta Recovery Vault is a cloud-based data retention service that provides a seamless, fully managed, secondary storage option for NetBackup users. First, you'll need a storage server and for this demo, mine has already been created. Let's go to Disk Pools and add our new storage. Click on Disk Pools and then click on the Plus Add button. We'll select our storage server that we saw at the beginning of the video. Name our new disk pool and give it a description if you'd like. Click Next to continue. You can see here we have a pure disk volume, but that's the one currently on our storage server. We want to connect to our new Alta Recovery Vault storage. Click on Select Volume and click on Add Volume. Give the volume a name and then click on Cloud Storage Provider. This is where we'll connect to our Alta Recovery Vault storage provider. Next, we'll choose Veritas Alta Recovery Vault Amazon as the provider. Next, we'll select Glacier IR for the storage class for normal functionality. If you've purchased archive support and wish to archive your Alta Recovery Vault data, select Glacier Deep Archive. Connect to the correct region. Put in your credentials and bucket name provided by the Alta Recovery Vault provisioning team. Click on Next to continue. Next, if you would like to set up replication, you can. I'm going to skip this. Check to make sure everything looks good, and when you're ready, click on Finish. Our disk pool has been created. Click on Close. The disk pool has been created, so let's create our storage unit so we can use this new storage for backups. Go to the Storage Units tab and click on the Plus Add button. Select Media Server Deduplication Pool, or MSDP, and click Start. Give the storage unit a name and click on Next. Select the new disk pool you created and click Next. Here you can have NetBackup choose the media server to use or specify the one that you want to use. Review the entries for the new storage unit and when things look good, click on Save. And here we can see our storage unit has been successfully created. You can now use your new Alta Recovery Vault storage for backups. With Veritas Alta Recovery Vault, protecting critical data in the cloud has never been easier. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to connect to and get your Alta Recovery Vault storage ready for backups.